Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Now in this game you do one of the most dangerous jobs in the world so let's don our hard hat and then head outside because we are going to be scrapping old ships for major profit. Now first off we need to buy a ship so let's head back into here. We got a laptop, we're connected to the Wi-Fi. There may not be like a lot else going on here but we've got good internet speed. So we'll scroll down and I think we're just going to buy the biggest ship they do. Two grand. I've only got two 1325 quid but uh, this ship it's a three hammer difficulty it's got loads of reese it's got a hundred thousand kilos of metal on that anyway let's buy this ship yes i do really want to buy this ship now as a heads up two grand in this game is probably about 30 hours worth of work and uh, that's why this job is so dangerous. Not because like cranes and scrap metal can fall on your head and get tetanus and stuff. No, but because you end up spending hours and hours and hours in a stupid virtual video game. So you can buy a ship like this. I mean, actually, look how, look how big that ship is. I'm quite impressed with myself. And you'll notice over here, we've got a brand new piece of equipment, the winch. So we'll get onto that in a bit. I do just want to upgrade some of my equipment though. I've unlocked a load of blueprints. Uh, so basically, if I come over to this shop, I can use those blueprints to upgrade my equipment. This is like the the, the smith guy. Look, he's showing me. Look at, look at all this stuff he can upgrade. So for example, my hammer, we can get the, the level four upgrade. We just need 40 kilos of non-metals. I've got 363 kilos still. I need a load of metals, some cash as well so let's order that damage goes up speed goes up the level five one i can also afford that oh lovely levels oh, i can afford the level six. Oh, i can afford the level seven as well okay so our hammer is going to be an absolute beast so, oh look at this it's ribbed and that really does give me pleasure now we've also got some other tools that we're going to need as well we got a circular saw which does need upgrading we got a blowtorch i feel like this is like a chef's blowtorch that's not going to do a lot now we got the winch so we can use that crane up there Anyway, we'll head up the ladder and we'll see what we're dealing with. So this is our entire ship. So there's bits of rubbish we can pick up. And basically, as we pick stuff up, they go into a crate. So it will literally just clearing up the place. But yeah, with all the rubbish cleared up, you can see bottom left, this weighs 48 kilos. So we can now just huh, launch it down there. I'm very strong, by the way. Never miss arm date. But yeah, then we want to head inside and we want to like pick up some of this stuff oh, i need explosives to get into that room oh they're electrified bolts as well so i can't just burst my way through this room over here though we can get into there's lots of bits and bobs i'd want to try and find some chairs though aha chair so that's one nope. chair actually i'm not sure that counted that didn't work let's just boost this door down that doesn't count as a chair okay i think i need like kitchen chairs if you know what i mean unless that's a chair no that's not a chair oh we can turn off the electricity as well that will that will help us although no it hasn't turned off this now nah, right anyway i'm i'm heavy now you can see bottom left i've got 80 kilos i can't carry any more so let's just go back over that way launch 80 kilos into the air and down into my truck then we can pick up some more stuff now these are barrels of oil so they should be good i was also i was following this pipe from outside it goes down so i do need to try and go down are oh, these barrels they weigh so much let anyway, me back over this way when it goes green <laughs> launch that's going into my truck All right i want to get down there are there is there downstairs i mean the easiest way to get down will be literally get my hammer out and start boosting the floor ow except don't hit those ones so i just lost some health All right but anyway now i've boosted some things out i can give that a right click pick up the panel and then you can see i'm getting i'm getting my way through the floor the floor is not just a simple floor we've got actual structure going on so now if we go to our saw we can give that a cut that a cut and we can smash through them we then, <laughs> we then need to pick these up go back to our hammer so we can hit these you see they take a bit of hitting this is why we need to upgrade our equipment but then we can bonk through this and now we're under underneath so hopefully ah here we go we can find where those there we're going oh we can close the valve let's close the valve then i think that means this is safe to safe to like destroy now oh look there's the engine room down there all right there's another electrical box that's all electrified i can't get in there without explosives and i don't have any explosives on me so what i'm thinking if i just boost these out i think this is thinking like an engineer because rather than rather than having to use explosives i can just like pop the door off give these a bit of a boost swap to our saw so we can cut that oh really is that not doing anything oh no our saw just takes ages oh you're actually having a laugh 
you're actually having a laugh. <laughs> okay, well, I'll stay here for like 10 minutes and I'll see you guys when it's done. Six hours later. Day 85 on board. We still haven't cut through this piece of metal yet. Man, starting to remember why I haven't played this in so long, because is it really playing a game if this is your gameplay for like five minutes at a time? Although I shouldn't complain really, because this is about to be very, very satisfying. Yes. Okay, so that is now that is now done. I can give that a boost. And then, oh, then I need to do this side. All right, do I stay here for 10 minutes or do I actually just go empty my truck, spend my cash on upgrading this thing? Because it's it's not the best. It's a bit rickety, isn't it? Yeah, let's go do that, actually. I think the best way to get money before I head back is to try and do everything I need to do the contracts. Now, we've already found the chairs. We just got to find a desk somewhere. I mean, surely that's a desk, right? Nope. Right, okay, that could be a desk. That nope. could actually be... Okay, it's not a desk. Right, oh, look, the sun is rising. We've been here all night. We've completed our first night shift. Yeah, I think I might just... I might just head up to the very top. Oh, these do count as desks. Okay, let's pick these up. Pick these up. That's good. I then just need... I just need the wood. I think just hitting doors, that will allow me to get the wood. And then we can complete that contract. Oh, look, it's the... It's my favorite part of a ship. The bridge. Right, that is a wooden table if ever I've seen one. That's got to be wood. They're probably wood. So yeah, top left now. We've completed everything. I just need a load of wood. I'm not going to lie though. This looks like... Is this like wooden paneling in this room? That's got to be wood, right? Let's give it a bash. So tell you what, I'll go around the room. I'll grab all of these. If they're not wood, I will then just like, I don't know in my hand and clap or something so all the panels are now loose and i think if i remember if i bonk one of them yeah they're all connected so they're all falling off love it so now i can pick up all of these oh they're 10 kilos each that's a lot of kilos all right i've launched that sort of close i can go pick it up afterwards i think that's probably the way to do this rather than keep going down all the time oh look loads of wood in this room as well oh, it's wood everywhere and we'll find out if all of this stuff is wood so if i just take all these panels and i'll just shove this straight in my truck so I think as this goes in, the wood thing in the top left, yes, it went up. Okay, so they are wood. So we, we know how to get wood. We just got to do all those wooden panels. We'll shove all these ones back in as well. And then how much have we got? 388 kilos. So we're halfway there. Okay, so we get back on board using the ladder. Head back upstairs to the wooden room. Get boosh in with the hammer. Then with all of these bolts boost out we can then give it a bonk and uh, you might be wondering well why why is it a bonk and not a boost well because in the top right it literally says bonk right click so bonk so that's all the wooden paneling coming down you can see there's more wood up there as well lovely oh no it just fell through the floor <laughs> don't fall through the floor i need you wood yeah we'll pick up all these panels shove those over that way close enough we've got this room which is all wood as well so again boost 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 Boosh. All right, in this room, we can bonk it like that. It all falls down. Oh, man, loads of wood. I've got all the wood I need. Oh, I found another wood cladded room. Sweet. All right, and then we just tidy up all of these. And hopefully, we'll get up to that 800 kilos we need. Oh, we're just shy. We're just shy. Okay, give me a few minutes. I'll go do that quick. All right, okay. Surely now... Oh, yeah, we've done it already. We've done it already. Don't even need that one. Okay, so now we head back to our computer back in our house so head towards our house and then we can claim this contract 1600 quid lovely jubbly and then we can run along this way in here we can purchase some upgrades so saw blueprints they're pretty cheap so let's just upgrade this all the way that we can so we've got some upgraded equipment so let's head back to our ship now then looks like we need to cut through these so let's get our new saw out oh man look how beefy this thing is if we give this a chop now that is i mean it's a lot quicker whether i can get through that door quicker i'm not sure i should probably go do the door actually I'm, I'm distracted here okay is this much quicker oh it's so much quicker that was so worthwhile all right so now we can bonk that down and then we can pull the door off Oh, I still need explosives. Okay, I've got to go find out how to buy explosives. Hang on a second. Oh, here we go. Explosives, 1,500 quid. So wait, how many can I... I can buy 92 explosives? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not at this point? So I can shove these on there. Nice. Explosive ready. Let's get back. What do I do? Like... Okay, so now we're in... We're in this room. Uh, by the way, check out my hat. It's like Thor's hammer now. <laughs> 
It's a beast. Right, turn off electricity. Right, then I can destroy this electrical box. And I think there's going to be some good stuff in here. Because looking at my contracts, I need like aluminium, copper, all sorts of stuff. Actually, that didn't that didn't do anything. What does destroying these do? I thought it was going to give me resource, but it didn't. Destroy that one as well. There's one at the back. I may as well try and get to it if I can. Oh, actually, look. Do I just cut that? Ah, here we go. I think I can cut these wires at either end, though. And then does that disconnect this? Yes, it does. So I can break that off the wall. Decent. And then that's given me some, I imagine, some copper. Okay, nice. Uh, it's worth mentioning as well. These engines, they're like massive. Uh, you actually need to, you need to disconnect them from the floor. And then you need to like put a clear path above them so that you can crane them out. I will try and crane them out. So we just got to get the ceiling off. That involves doing all the bolts, even on like the floor above. Yeah, oh, there's several floors above this. This could take a while. I'll tell you what then, forget all that. I want to see what's, I want to see what's down here. So this was the one I started cutting a few minutes ago. Let's just cut all of these out. So going to take a little bit of grinding, but we will get there. Okay, so with that cut out, I can now call a crane in. And that should, yeah, this crane is come. I mean, it's meant to be coming over. It's actually, it's going the wrong direction. Oi, mate. Mate, down here. You're going the wrong way. Don't go left. Go right. But oh my god, what's the crane doing? What is going on? It's cursed. It's cursed. Oh, that's really horrible to look at. What? <laughs> what is it doing? So we got a load of low alloy steel there. 150 kilos. Thank you, cursed crane. Okay, we fell down. And this is what we unlocked. Some. Oh, look, there's loads of stuff down here that we can crane up as well. So if we get back on the old on this thing we can cut this out then once we've winched that roof off we should be able to winch these out as well actually can i do it now no i think because that's above oh i can do that one from up there okay cool yeah then i can winch these out now the thing is i am i'm literally stuck down here there's no way out so whilst that gets winched out i think yeah i can boost all these out. oh this is gonna it's gonna take ages still that's a load more low alloy steel thank you game yeah, I'll just boosh out this wall so that I can escape myself. So, bonk. It's, oh, look. I'm pretty sure that is a blowtorch thing. Yeah, so I can, like, you know, like James Bond, like his blowtorch watch. This cuts through that quite nicely. Oh, my goodness. I need to upgrade this. Look how slowly that bar's going up. Oh, that is hideous. I'm going to be there all day. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get myself out of this cage. I'm feeling very trapped right now. So, cut these things out. Watch the War of the World Spider Walker disappear. <laughs> All right, and now am I free? Yes, I'm free. I can escape again. Now, I do wanna, I do wanna crane these things up. The thing is, they are red. Cannot reach load. Oh, they're attached to the wall, are they? Okay, it's attached to the wall. So let's just bonk that out and try and see what's going on. Right, if I head through this way, okay, I think it's just attached to that. So I'll cut this off, and then I've bonked all that. So is that now not connected? So I can say. No, what's wrong? Oh, that's in, that's in the way, and that's in the way. Oh, is it because this is actually under the... Do I have to get rid of this entire wall to get this up? Surely not. That's obscene. Okay, not going to lie. That looks like a, th a clear gap to me. Let's try the, the crane. Is it just... I think it's that bit that's in the way. And that might be because there's that crane on top. It's going to take a little bit of time, but not too bad. I am going to upgrade this further when I can. But now that is disconnected. We can winch that away. And then whilst it's doing that, I should probably get rid of these bolts as well. Boosh that out. Get rid of these bolts on this side. There it goes. Definitely how a crane works. All right, cut these right angles off. All right, and then, yes, it's green. Which means that can get winched out. Amazing. And I'm going to try and jump on it, actually. Right, there you go. Go. Oh, oh, that's so annoying. I wanted to see where it ends up. Okay, I'll jump off. See you later, crane. Definitely how a crane works. <laughs> but nice. You can see how much stuff there's actually going to be to remove on this ship. It's going to be so much. Oh, there's a load of copper, though. Didn't I need copper for this person? Yeah, look. Again, there. We need washing machines and oven. I'm actually pretty sure I saw some washing machines. There we go. Washing machines live longer with cow gone. Anyway, one other thing I want to try. I want to try this winch. See how this works. So we press thing to use. Oh, they are attached. So I have a feeling if we bonk this out. Yeah, we may need to detach all of these. So I've just sawn through all of them. I can then give them a bonk. They should all fall down. And so now they're no longer attached. Oh, I probably need to do that for every single floor, don't I? I 
then need to cut through this with the blue torch. Right, so disconnect the floor beneath as well. I think we're sort of nearly there, maybe. Oh, whoa, I just I just blue torched this. And look, this like panel almost fell off. Yeah, so from above, can you see this panel? It's like properly hanging off which means hopefully i can use that winch to uh pull this off let's go have a look okay so in the winch oh it goes green it does go green so oh we're pulling it off we're pulling it off yes but look at this side panel that we've got off so now if we select if we select the crane can we yes we can get this oh man this game's such a step up from the last one like yes it's way more of a grind i'm like two hours in to get to this point just one panel gone and yes some things don't work quite as intended like i think the crane's just like facing the wrong direction because because <laughs> there it goes but this game is cool i mean if you just want like a relaxing five hours of virtual progress now, I would definitely recommend... Oh, look, there's the name of the boat going as well. 800 kilos of low alloy steel. I tell you what, I can probably go upgrade my equipment again. This has the world's most random mini game in. But basically in here, we sort we sort the materials we've got into different bins. Now, we can speed it up to go a bit quicker. We can, well, just move these bins side to side. It's, <laughs> it's so random. But yeah, that gave us a load of resource because that was all the stuff in the truck it's now like in our inventory which means over here we can now afford to upgrade like our hammer and stuff so max level hammer level 10 can't afford to finish the saw we need liquids and equipment and stuff but let's have a look at the hammer oh boy look at that so let's get inside this thing and see whether max level hammer oh yes oh yes one hit kills on everything boosh 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 Boosh. Let's just give these a bonk now and then look at the whole floor spread. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the ladders are falling down the stairs. Love it. But yeah, well, anyway, guys, that was Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. I am not going to be here all day destroying this because I will. It, pro it probably would take like a good, I don't know, looking at how long I've spent, probably like 10, 20 hours maybe to destroy something like this. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm capable of destroying such a large ship. As fun as it is, I got places to go, people to see. Although, check out my hammer. Look how, look at that. Look at it. Right. Peace, love, and hammers. Bye, guys.